Hi, this is Irina. Welcome to my studio today with mixed media, but I did it before, but I didn't. So, oh, why are my hands always so cold? I want to do napkins again, decoupage, but this time I want to decoupage envelopes. I cut them all. I'm going to use them in a mass making project sometime soon, hopefully. <laughs> um, and I want to decoupage them. And, uh, you know, I could collage them in the project. So what all I did was I usually cut off mine on the bottom whenever I open them, you know, just so scissors. So they are all straight everywhere else. I left them closed. I wonder right now. Yeah, I'm going to leave them closed. And I will just put napkin on top and we'll let it dry. And then later on I will do my project. But for the beginning of this, I'm going to put napkin on it. And now I'm thinking, because I need two for one, basically, I'm going to... Let me see. I see same window envelope, two of them <laughs> each time. <laughs> each time two of them have the same window. <laughs> yeah. So many envelopes and I have so many more, but you know what? It's crazy. I was picking out these and I was like, Ooh, should I really use them? Should I hoard them? What? Excuse me? You have so many envelopes and you're still thinking if you should hoard them? <laughs> it's a sickness. It's a sickness. I have my, <laughs> I hope it's, it's not, not too bad in here. <laughs> I think I might put a little bit of water in there. I have a jug in the room. There is almost no more water left. I have the Mod Podge here. I'm just going to put like a couple drops. Oof, I don't like the smell of Mod Podge. I, I tell you already. Okay, and maybe I should put... Oh, rip. oh my God, I see it coming already. My fingers are going to be sticky. Oh, well, oh, well, don't like sticky fingers. I don't know why, no, you know, I have three children. There was a lot of sticky fingers in my house. I don't like them, I don't like them. I tried to shake it up so whatever is on the bottom comes off, hopefully. And I hope, oh, I hope I didn't put too much water. Now it's really fluidy and might be too much water. There wasn't much Mod Podge left, but hey, I got more Mod Podge. <laughs> Surprise. Okay, I'm gonna try. I don't think I've ever done tissue paper like for presents on top. And this was sent to me. This was sent to me many years ago. I have two pieces, so it might be enough for all of them. So all of them will be kind of same. Okay, I'm thinking if I go, I've never done this before, so you are with me for the first time. If I go around the window and don't do on the window, then later on I can just put a little water there and it will come off. Please tell me it will, because I do not know. Okay, do not know. Somebody needs to tell me if this is how it's going to work. <laughs> Because I might, um, I don't know, make a mess. I might expect one thing. Oh no, what is this? This is just foam now. Is it still glue? Let me touch it. I don't even know. Is it still glue? But there was not much water and I just shook it up. So, oh, you know what I'm thinking also? I need to see with one. Mm -hmm. I was thinking it's going to be easy peasy. I'm just going to put it on one, you know, I don't need to open the envelope. I'll just keep it closed and open it later. But will I be able? This is something I need to figure out. I know some of it is going to go on the window, you know, so prepare for that. And I think now th this glue is not glue anymore. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. We will see in just a second when I put a piece of this on top. Maybe I should turn it around so it's the right way around. I don't know if there's right or wrong on this napkin. And then I'm just gonna put it on top and see what's gonna happen, if it's gonna stick or not, because this is different kind of paper. I have never used tissue paper before as, you know, for decoupage. But I'm assuming you can. So I'm gonna do one, okay? 
I'm gonna do one and then I'm gonna dry it and see what happens before I do like 10 or 20 of them and it doesn't work out uh-uh I need to try one and then see what happens okay let me do the middle here I don't see the window can you see the window because for me the light is very bright I have a bright light in my room so you can see what I'm doing but that makes me not see too good what do you think is there is it glued down is it good is it not oh, I do not know it kind of looks foamy all of it I think I might put a little more Mod Podge into this but um, let me try this real quick and see if it's gonna work. And while I'm on it, do I rip it also right away? Because you know, it's wet already, <laughs> so why not? I'm thinking I could rip it right away. I have to be careful because I wanna be careful. I don't want this to end up in a mess. I want to use some later. Okay, okay. This, I guess I'm going to cut off later. I don't think I can rip it very well right now. Okay, so we'll let it dry and see what happens and see if I can open it up later, you know, and whatever. Or shall we dry it with my heating tool? I don't like to dry stuff with my heating tool, but I will this time, I think. I only dried this part and basically on the outside because I remembered, thank goody, that there is a window that's going to melt when I dry it there. But it seems to have gotten glued on it. I don't know how properly it's down. I think I'm going to mix a little bit more of Mod Podge in there. But while this is basically more or less dry, I'm going to also try something different. Where's my water? Do I have any container where I could put my water? I don't think so. I'm gonna put it in the cap of the jug. <laughs> you see? That much. <laughs> <clears throat> because now, let me see. Which one can I take that is not too big? Maybe this one? Now, I wanna go around the windows Oh, this is tissue. Mm. It's different kind of paper, so it's not going to rip that easily, I'm thinking. But I'm sure it will rip easily enough. I just want to be able to get it off from this part. Let's see how much water we need. I don't want to, like, make my whole thing wet. Oh, there you go. Okay, so we should be, yeah. So let's put water all around the window. And then we should be able to kind of do this. Yep. Let's see. I'm not going to do all of them with you like that, okay? I'm just showing you one in case you have never seen. I have never seen this. <laughs> I'm just doing it. I've never seen this. So sometimes you don't need to see. Sometimes you don't want to see. But sometimes you do want to see nobody's showing you. So I'm I'm here for you guys. I'm here for you. I'm here to show you. I, I don't even see where the window ends, truthfully. Because of the light. It's hard for me. Oh, I think here. It's hard for me to see. But yeah, basically. You rub a little bit with your fingers and then you will get there, hopefully. And you know, it's not gonna be straight, but that's what I like. I don't know about you. If you like straight stuff, don't do it. Do not do it to me. It's perfect. Okay. Okay, so I freed <laughs> my window. I wonder if I should just keep the other window closed. <laughs> No, I could if I wanted to, but no. I'm going to free my other window as well. And then I'm going to... Yeah, I think I can dry it a little bit on the bottom and then it's going to dry. I'm just wondering if this is going to stay stuck, you know? 
Let me free my other window here. I'm going to put water on it first. Wherever it starts and ends. This is much thicker than your usual tissue paper. Like not your usual tissues. Like here, if you get one layer, I feel like it will be coming off much easier with this. But we will do those two. So we will do one window with with a normal napkin. Okay. We will peel one off together. That's what I'm saying. I'll do many more, I think, because, oh, you don't even need your finger. You could use your brush if you wanted to. Finger is good. Brush is good. But I think finger can feel more. <laughs> and it's a little sticky in the middle still because I didn't dry where the window part is. Did you see my head? It could be. I'm sorry. My hair is very messy because I'm. it's the morning. You know, I didn't do anything to my hair at all. Okay, there is that. I think at the end I'm going to distress it. Or I'm going to... Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Ha! Ha! I'm going to get some vintage photo or even walnut stain. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get walnut stain refill. And then I'm going to put a drop or two in there. Oh, that was... Oh, that was a squirt. <laughs> this was like six drops, I think. It's okay. And then I'm going to mix it up. Ooh, look at that. Now we have like a brown mixture. But also I still need more Mod Podge. I'm like a chemist here, you know. I need to be able to open this. You know what? I'm not even going to put Mod Podge in there. What I'm going to put in there? What? Glue. Because I have so much. I don't know. We bought it on sale a long time ago. Let's squirt a good squirt in there. Right there. Good amount. Okay, glue in. Refill ink in. <laughs> We're doing chemistry here, which is good. Good. I like it. Yeah, this is mixing medias. <laughs> so we're definitely doing mixed media here. <laughs> we're mixing the media. <laughs> okay, let's see. I don't know. Is it more gluey? It doesn't look more gluey. That's the thing. <laughs> okay, we're going to try one, aren't we? Yes, we are. Let's put the water aside. Let's put you on the floor. You can keep drying off on the floor. We're going to try out the mixture plus the color of this. You know what? I still don't like the mixture. Let's squirt some more glue in there first. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm having palpitations. I don't know. But good thing is, I'm going to see an electrician for my heart today <laughs> it's a an electrophysiologist cardiologist Ugh, i don't know he specializes i think it's a he because i'm seeing the doctor for the first time my be a lady um specializes in the electro impulses in your heart i have a right bundle branch block which a lot of people apparently have or you know, it's not very rare, but it's rare to have symptoms with that. And I've been telling you for a while that I'm getting dizzy and having palpitations and everything like that. So my cardiologist finally, after, what was it now, a year of me telling him that I'm dizzy and having palpitations and him telling me that, you know, I'm having anxiety, finally he, he said... Sorry, I need to concentrate. <laughs> no, that's not what he said. He said, go see one. I'm like, okay, thank you. Because, you know, I don't think it's my anxiety because I'm not anxious. Especially like right now, I'm not anxious. I mean, I get anxious. Of course I do. But like right now, not anxious at all. Why would I have palpitations right now? If it was 
anxiety. I shouldn't be having any palpitations because I'm not anxious. Why am I talking like that? Nobody knows. Oh, look, I think it's going to be better with the darker. It might even, I thought it was too dark, but I don't think it is. <laughs> it could even be a little bit darker, maybe. Okay. So I'm going to cover it up around the window. I wonder if I should be turning them like sideways. So it's easier for me to see. I don't know. We'll see. But I went all around it. We will see the difference once it dries. The difference in the coffee dyed and not coffee dyed, you know. If it rips a little bit from the envelope, I'm fine too because I'm going to distress it and I'm like, I'm all about this grungy look. You know, if it rips off somewhere, it rips off somewhere. I don't mind. Okay. So there it is. There it is. Let's put some more on the edges and corners and everything and then let me dry it real quick just here on the bottom trying to not to destroy the windows okay i will show you that i want to show you the difference come here baby until darker light darker i feel like well we're gonna take this off but i feel like it could be darker even than that you know, I'm going to take the windows out. That's why they are not dark. Oh, there, there could be the difference right there in the window. But I feel like it could totally use a little bit more of the freeing stuff. Bloop, another squirt. That's it, though. That's it. I don't want it to be, like, just brown. Okay, let's mix it up. And I'm thinking the windows will be taken off later. So I would just do this, put it aside to dry, and then take another one. So you can go over here. I'm totally going to do something to the jug of water so it falls and then, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm totally going to spill it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Even though I put it away, far, far away from me, <laughs> I have the feeling I'm going to spill it. Okay, let's see if it's going to be easier for me to see if I do it this way. Ooh. I I love um, decoupaging. And since I've done it the last time on the book pages and everything, I was just thinking about my napkins and how much I love this, actually. I forgot this already. I haven't done it in so long. Maybe it's not too thick. I'm thinking it might be too thick now. Okay, so sideways, I do not see where. Oh, maybe if I go sideways, I shouldn't put you here. Huh? What do you think? What do you think? Maybe the brush wouldn't belong there. Maybe I should cut off this piece of napkin so it's shorter. And then I'll put some on top right here so i hope everybody's doing good you know and i hope that maybe i inspire you a little bit or remind you a little bit oh <laughs> that you have napkins I'm sure everybody here does you know even when you just start out at least well, I cannot judge everybody the same, right? So at least for me, when I started out, there was Dollar Tree napkins. <laughs> when I started out, I had napkins already. That was one of my first supplies. Crafting. Oh, now it's darker. I can tell. Ah, oh, interesting. I just missed a call. I don't even know what number that is. 928? I don't know this number. Some spammer is calling me again, right? I'm trying to rip it off now. Okay, so this is going to be a, a... Why am I... Do, you know what? Maybe for ripping off, I should just get some water. Yep. 
I think that's better. Get some water right here, and then, then we're, oh, I ripped it right there on the corner. It, oh, I ripped it. Oh, well, maybe I should. I was, I was better in the beginning. Yeah, I definitely was. I was paying more attention, but it's okay because we can do that. And then, you know, nobody will know that there was ever anything on the corner. Uh-huh. This number left me a voicemail. It looks like, okay. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Let's do this. And then we will see later on what's going to happen to them. I have, oh my God, I have so many more to go. I think I'm going to cut off some of this napkin here on the bottom. I think it's going to be easier. I only have one or two. I have two or three to cover with this one. Because then it's going to be gone. Okay, okay. Now I like the consistency. I like the stickiness. It might be even a tiny bit too sticky, but I'm good with that. And I like the color. Yeah, I like the color. You know, when I just started out crafting, I would have never thought that you could put distress ink into Mod Podge or anything. Like, you know, I always thought that the things... The way the things are made are the how they are supposed to be used. I don't know if that makes sense, but I never thought that you can just change it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. Because I just started out crafting. I knew nothing about crafting. Nothing at all. I, I knew absolutely nothing when I started out. And in, uh, in my family, crafting was not something we did. You know, I hear a lot of people like have get supplies from their mothers or whatever, you know, and uh, no, <laughs> my mother would never. I, I can't truthfully, I cannot remember my mother ever sitting down with me as a child and craft something. Mm -mm. I do not remember, do not remember. I remember like trying to make, you know, this paper dolls and then you make like clothes for them and whatever. And I so envied the other children because they had so much, so such pretty paper dolls and my parents never drew any for me, you know? <laughs> I had only the ones that I drew myself. So yeah, my parents are not into this too much. Okay, okay. I'm doing this part with water now, as you can tell. I think you can tell that I'm doing this part with water. And also, I'm not going too close to the envelope, which is fine. I could just leave this strip here, but whatever, I'm taking it off. Um, I'm going to be... Oh, see? I was careful, and then I took off the corner. <laughs> oh, it's not bad. I just put some Mod Podge on top with my paint. And I will definitely will have to wipe here again. I always have to wipe this mat here because I put all of the sticky stuff on there. So I have four. There's many more to go. So yeah, my friends would have all the pretty paper dolls and I would just... <laughs> I, ca I cannot draw. I wish I could. I always wished I could. But this was not given to me. This was not given to me by God. God gave me other things to do. He's like, nah, can't, can't let you make that. You know, be able to draw. You'll get this. And, uh, and sometimes I think... Oh, wait. Oh, no. I have to get ready. Okay, I'm thinking, let me quickly. Oh, I really don't want to do like half. Why did I even start? <laughs> I have to get ready. I have to go to the doctor. Okay, when do I have to leave? Let me think. I have to be there at 10.45, I believe. 
and then I have to leave at 9.45 because I have to drive for an hour there. I know, terrible. But 9.45 and then I need about half an hour to get ready because I need to take a shower. <laughs> Even take a shower. And I couldn't take one yesterday because I had my therapy till I came home at 8-ish. Yeah, 8, around 8. And then I was too tired. I ate and I was done. After therapy, it's hard. I was really, really tired. I should have taken a shower yesterday. However, what did I say? 9.45, take a shower. 9.15, it's 8.30 right now. Okay, we'll see what happens. I have a little bit of time. I would like to at least finish like this part. You know what? I'm going to leave. And I'm always doing that. I was going to leave this here. And then I ripped the edge, the corner off of this one. I ripped the corners off of each of them. This corner <laughs> is ripped off of each of them. It's fine. I wanted to do better this time. <laughs> but apparently there is no better for me. No better. Just this. No bad, it's just this. It's okay. I'm just gonna put it down here. I would like to do more. You know, I would. Uh, maybe I need to. I mean, something else is gonna go on the bottom of the envelope later, but like truly. I'm taking my <laughs> dry beef wipes off. I have water, a water jug right here. Why am I spraying? Oh, that was too much. I need another baby wipe. Okay, that, that that's really wet. I got baby wipes years ago with coupons for free. <laughs> and then, I, what was I supposed to do with them? I don't know. I put them in a corner because they were free. I don't get free stuff anymore like that just because it's free, you know. And I'm healed. Get another one to dry this off. I'm healed, but yeah, they dried out, and then I was like, I'm not tossing them. Surely you can find something to do with them. And I did. I'm just making them wet again. And this way I can use them. You know what? I'm going to cut off a piece of this. Hopefully, not too much. I don't think it is too much. Okay. Can we cover two envelopes at once? Is it gonna be too much work? Oh girl, if you spend more time with that now, I will try. I wanna be efficient. I wanna be efficient, let's see. We'll try one. <laughs> We're gonna try it out because now we need to know, right? Can we just do two so it goes faster? So we can cover enough by the time I need to go take a shower. You know, I, I can tell you already. Chances are that I'm going to sit in my room and forget the time. And then I will jump up and it will be too late. And I will be running to the doctor knowing that I didn't take a shower, but I crafted. And there will be glue all over me and my hair will be a mess. <laughs> and I will have like brown fingers from all this <laughs> distressing. <laughs> How do I know? Because <laughs> I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> it happened to me before. <laughs> it, did. it did. Okay, so what if I do it this way, right? I cover two at once. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Very good, very good. And then I can just, you know, I don't see the window of this one. Do you see the window of this one? I don't. That's not good. Okay, I'm just gonna go over them with my Mod Podge. Well, it did work. I don't know if it took less time than doing one by one, but it did work. Definitely didn't work. Oh, did I just say it definitely didn't work? It did work. Okay. Oh, what's happening? Oh, what's happening? No, no, no. Did I not put enough in there? Or did I just rip too hard? Because we don't want that happening in here. 
Okay, guys, I have seven, which means I still have three more to go. And then I have ten more with other napkins to go. So I'm going to finish these up. I think I'm going to finish these up and then I'm going to let them dry. And um, then I'm going to be back from the doctors, hopefully. <laughs> Shower it, hopefully. <laughs> I finished the three and then I'm, I'm letting them dry. And <clears throat> I'll be back and then we will do the normal napkin. And I think also like rip the window off and I can show you how it looks like when it has dried. And I'm really hoping that my mixture here, and you can't go wrong, right? Because now I'm starting to get a little anxious about the mixture that I made. Like, will it hold with this napkin? Will it not hold with this napkin? You know, I do not know. You tell me. Or I guess you cannot tell me because you don't know either. But I will figure it out. Once it has dried, I will know if it's going to hold. Or if this was all for nothing, maybe I will have to go over it one more time. But yeah, however, how I said, um, what did I say? I said I'll be back. Yes, <laughs> once, it, once it's dried and I'm back from the doctor, I'm going to be back and just show you. All right, I got carried away, as you can see. I wonder if I can do anything with those little pieces of um, napkin that I took off the windows. So I have, they are all dry. I went to the doctor, I came back. I've been home for about an hour or two now. They have all dried. And before I went to the doctor, I was like, oh, maybe I can do a couple with the, with a the napkin. And then I did them all. <laughs> Look. So they are... Definitely the windows were easier to take off, but not much easier. And I just cleaned it off with my baby wipe. And, you know, I like the raggedy edge. If you don't, you will have to try to clean them off better or be better when you glue them on. I'm not quite sure. But there was somewhere. Was the white one? Where was the white? There it is. Very shiny. Very sh and here I took a little bit of a napkin off, which is fine too, because I can just trust it. But look huge difference right i'm more for this type <laughs> but this looks like you know it's been painted on there this i can tell that i glued it on i think but this looks like it has been painted to me okay so i was thinking it shouldn't be too hard to clean them all off maybe i should have cleaned up before i turned on the video you know oh and i finished my mod podge I'm like, yeah, hi. <laughs> What'd she say? Oh, she said, take your meds. Okay, not right now. I'll take them a little later because I took my morning meds too late. Okay, let me clean up just a tiny bit. One of those days I will get there and clean this mat real good. One of those days. No, right now. So I'm thinking right now. I think... I will cut it with my, yeah, I'm going from one side because I want them later on, I want them to be able to open. Maybe I should have even done this. Huh, right now I'm considering to do this and to glue this part down. So it's kind of, you know, it has a nice edge here. What do you say? Should I use just the school glue? I do not know. Because I would like to use up the school glue, but now it's not. Maybe I'm not opening it good. What am I doing? Did I not open it? I I, I, I don't know. I didn't use the school glue. But I, I turned it all the way. So there must be something coming out, right? No? Oh, I hear it. I can hear it. Let's see if we can just... Oh, there's this thing here. Okay. I don't use it. I bought it, but I did not use it. <laughs> I know. I know. The only times I've used it, I think, was for making Mod Podge. Oh, great. I forgot that this is a napkin, you know, so you cannot just rip it around. Well, this is tissue paper, but it doesn't matter. I ripped the piece off. It is what it is. I ripped it off, but I'm going to glue something here anyway, so... The most important thing for me is this thing. And maybe I should just... I didn't leave them all long enough, though. Huh. What was I thinking? 
see this is just nothing here it's not even gonna fold is it let's see i'm just gonna see what is going to happen here okay i didn't like this glue already that's probably why i never use it because i don't like it i can't see it coming out and then it comes out a lot and then you know and all my fingers are oh nope not doing this nope <laughs> or i could do this with a with a baby wipe with a baby wipe it seems to be all right you know and i'm just gonna fold them all over and glue them like this but then they have to dry again don't they i don't know so every time on the left side on the big window side right am i seeing it right i think i am so my doctor the new doctor the electrician heart electrician i call him heart electrician he's electrophysiologist i think it's i've never heard of this kind of doctor before but then my cardiologist sent me to him I'm like really there is somebody like that yeah there was not much that he said um he said he would only know if the palpitations are worrisome if he could catch them in the act basically and you know <laughs> for me to have an ekg while i'm having them and i'm like i um, don't think that's possible mr mr doctor but then he said you know um that he would like for me to wear the what is it called halter monitor i had one of these for two weeks before but he doesn't want to go off this data because he wants to see it by himself and i cannot do it again for two weeks i have a adhesive allergy and my skin still did not recover i have a scar from the first one you know because it was itching so bad it took off pieces of my skin you know so he said well we can do a loop recorder and somebody was talking about this before so it's basically a tiny little thing i don't know it looks like an i don't know what to call them st sticks or they really like this and maybe that's this long and then they implant it under your skin and it basically records your heartbeat on a loop and he said, oh, that would be maybe even better because if you ever have a fainting spell, because I fainted a few times, right? That's that's one of those things too that I wanted to know why I fainted. Um, and he said that, you know, if I ever have another fainting spell, then they could tell if it's heart related or if it's just, you know, what did he say? Common fainting, he called it, common fainting. Some people just faint. <laughs> because of the um, vagus nerve. So some people just do. I might be one of those people. Might be. Okay, this we don't do. I think most of them I can, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to clean it up a little bit here. However, and now I have to go back to my cardiologist, make an appointment with him, which is gonna take forever again. And then, you know, see if he will do the loop recorder i asked this doctor i was like will he will my cardiologist know or do i have to like get him to do that and i was like oh he will know like, are you sure you sure he will okay so i want to see something later on i can't figure it out i open this this way and then i will need to oh god so this one i will need to do on the small window okay i need to cut those apart somehow wait for it i will be cutting him them here right right yeah, because they have to open in another way. For my project, I'm thinking about my project right now. And I think this is what I need to do. Okay. I'm just going to clean them all up. So it doesn't take five hours here. 
Alrighty. Now I just need to cut. Meaning, I'm not always sure if this bottom part, and it's not straight anyway, so I'm gonna cut like a teeny tiny sliver of the bottom part every time. And then I'm going to cut this. Those envelopes were closed. So I need to open them anyways. So I'm thinking a sliver should be to open plus to clean up this edge. Wonderful. Same here, they are not opened. So a little bit will do. And this way I'm gonna open it. Very good. Now this is visible, but also for the project that I wanna do, let's clean up one of these. Mm, how do I wanna do that? Wait, this will open up where the big window is, right? So I can kind of flip it. Look, if this is open like that. Okay, I need to do one more of these, just to see. Just to see, because my brain is not braining, okay? And before I make mistake on all of them, I'm gonna see here what's going to happen. Because I know for a fact that these ones, I'm gonna cut on this side. Oh, oh, I didn't even open. Okay, give me, give me a knife. There you go, okay. So if I cut both of them this way, never ever can I make the windows fit. You know, and for my project, I want, oh uh, yeah, I want the windows to fit and they would not fit. So yeah, then these ones will open where the small window is and then this one will open where the big window is. And I don't know how to do that right now because they are all connected here. This will open with the big window. The big window is here. Let's just try. I don't know what else to do. I can only try and figure out if this will open it or not. Whoa. Okay. All right. Okay. That looks good. And I'm going to clean up all sides. And this is just in preparation for the project that I want to do. I've seen something somewhere, okay? Somebody was doing something. And I thought, ooh, I could totally put napkins on my envelopes. Okay, so this one's supposed to open this way. Okay. See, some of this seeped through and made it just a little, you know, hard to open. So what I'm thinking is later on, and I didn't even know, oh, goody. Oh, maybe this one is the same. No, I opened it this way. Oh my God, I don't know how to make it fit. I did something wrong. I need to figure out my brain is not braining. Okay, my brain is not braining because I'm giving it, you know, the wrong information. It doesn't work like I want it to work. So basically I wanted to have two and when I flip this, this would fit this window. That's why I chose kind of the same windows, same with same, but same with same is only going to work this way on top of each other and I cannot do this way. So I was trying, I thought if I cut it on the other side, I can just flip it and it's going to fit. Well, it could fit this way, but it's not going to fit any other way except for if I only fit one window. If I fit the big window, it's gonna fit. And then the small window is gonna end up being like this. Completely different. Then I would have to either cover this part up, you know, or, you know, leave it, whatever. Because on this side, it's gonna be here as well. And I'm wondering what could go there. I'm thinking that I might put paper in there because I want to make booklets in my in my next thing but it has nothing to do with today absolutely nothing so today it's just about this part being done 
and this didn't glue it down. Well, I don't need it that much here, but now I'm kind of wanting it <laughs> because it's halfway glued and halfway not. Oh, great. That's even better. This part is not going to be visible anyways because I'm going to cover it up. So why am I even bothering? I don't know. Because sometimes your brain says, you do this now. And then you do it because your brain is the boss. And at least my brain is the boss, you know. I cannot go against my brain. But look, you can either like collage stuff on your um, envelopes or a napkin goes so much quicker. So much quicker, you know. And I like it. You can just clean it up. I'm going to, for these parts that are folded, I'm just going to go ahead and clean them up with a ruler. Probably not right now because right now I'm probably going to cut into the envelope because I cannot see. I have to push my head. Yeah, I cut a little bit into the envelope. But you know, th this doesn't matter because I can put something on here. Stuff is going to go on here anyways. But yeah, I will do it like in peace and clean up these sides. But all the other sides I can clean up really quickly with my cutter, except for the one side that should stay as it is, right? And I should wait until everything dries, which I will do because I just messed up my guillotine already. I cleaned it up, <laughs> but that didn't make me happy <laughs> to have glue on my guillotine. And I cut, wow, this part, this part here, I didn't even realize it cut me like five or six times this I didn't know that this was that sharp because I keep kind of pushing it and now I see blood hey that never happened to me before I usually measure or whatever but here I cannot see so I keep pushing this with my finger to figure out where to go and I cut my finger like five or six times without knowing <laughs> oh gee yeah be careful with your beauty not only the knife is sharp the knife is super super sharp i touched it once like just tipped it like this then i was bleeding for half an hour cut me cut me so bad okay i think i need to stop my bleeding now because i'm i'm about to bleed out in my crouch but you get the idea right i will try to hold my finger kind of so you cannot see so you you don't pass out you know but, you see, I think they look super pretty. I am like, you know, I had fun putting them on there. And like I said, this white one, I will try <laughs> without you. Because right now I'm bleeding. <laughs> I'm bleeding out, guys. I'm bleeding out. Oh. Yeah, this is absolutely dirty, but whatever. I will survive. Okay, so this one. I would yeah I can just trust it and then later but I will have to cover the windows later I will spray it with this one sealing spray not sealing sealant I think what is it? yeah it seals stuff because you know this is gonna come off if it gets wet or whatever but I'm gonna seal it later but I will have to cover up the windows with something I'll find something just a piece of paper and then, you know, it's going to look just as good. Not as dark, but at least not in your face white. Okay, I need to go get a band-aid. Because, like, there's five cuts or so in my fingers. What did I do? I hope you enjoyed this, you know. I know it's a little bit, like, all over the place here. But it does not matter. I wanted to have some fun. And I did have fun. And maybe you've never done... I've never done one. I've never put one on an envelope. I've been crafting for many, many years. I've never put one on an envelope. So maybe you haven't either. And maybe you want to try. And now you have seen that it's super easy peasy. And now you're going to try. I hope so. I hope you guys are all healthy and happy. And um, enjoying your day. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.